is Chameleon worth getting and is she actually worth using as a cameo? Like what tools does she offer? Are they actually worth using? Is she even good for most characters? Today we're answering all those questions and more, so let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. I'm gonna be with you guys. Chameleon is probably the most fun I've had playing a cameo in so long. If you do not know, Chameleon actually changes between Katana, Melina, Jade every six seconds. So your move set as a cameo changes without you doing anything. You can change it by doing a move and holding down the cameo button. Now she's Katana immediately. So you do have some control over it, yes. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually really enjoy playing my character. And then every so often looking at what cameo Chameleon is right now, she's Jade. And then making my next move, my next strategy, my next game plan based off what version she is. So now she's Katana. Okay, what can I do with Katana's moveset? Now she's Melina. What do I do now? I kind of enjoy that. It's actually really fun to like mix it up on the go. Like you can do multiple cameo moves in the same combo. So you can do Jade's move in the same combo and then do Katana's move later all in the same combo. And it's so much fun like this. <laughs> It's just a really fun, unique way to mix things up again on the fly, and I personally love it. Not only that, but Chameleon kind of replaces a couple other cameos you might be used to. Like if you use Sonya for her air combo extension like this, just use Chameleon's Melina's moves and you get the same effect. Oh, you wanna use Serena for ground combo extension like this? Just use Chameleon as Jade and get almost the same effect. Cameo Sub-Zero standard cameo move makes you projectile and vulnerable. Well, guess what? So does Chameleon as Jade. Boom, now we're projectile and vulnerable. So, so far we've already kind of replaced Sonya, Serena, Sub-Zero. Scorpion as a cameo offers a good overhead mix up to stun your opponent and allows for a combo extension like this. And you guessed it, so does Chameleon. Just use Melina's form and you get a great overhead mix up that allows for combo extension, just like this. You get the idea, Chameleon has a lot of moves that are very similar to other cameos that allow the same utility, the same combo extension, and you get them all, it just cycles throughout the fight. Yes, I know those other cameos offer other stuff as well, like Scorpion offers a full screen reset armored move, Sonya offers a projectile, I understand that. It's just kind of cool that Chameleon offers those reminiscent moves that can kind of replace them. Not only does she offer awesome utility, but she kind of breaks the rules of the game in a way. And what I mean by that, you know the uppercut cancel mechanic that like nobody uses? Because it costs two bars and it has to be a punish uppercut. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it looks like this. Like I said, it costs two bars and allows you to basically air combo your opponent after punishing them from an uppercut. It's very situational, it's very expensive, but Chameleon allows us to do the same thing using Katana Chameleon's airlift cameo move and it's one cameo bar, kinda dope, just like this. Like I said, one cameo bar, we get the same effect, way less expensive, and I think it's easier to pull off, personally. Not only that, but using that same airlift move, we can combo off of grabs that some characters usually can't, like this. So you can combo off an uppercut, you can combo off grabs most of the time. You get utility from a lot of other cameos. Not only that, but Chameleon Melina's grab here, it does do a little bit less damage at 90 damage, yes, but you see our opponent was not knocked down. Now that's huge, because that essentially negates our opponent's ability to do a wake up attack, gives us the pressure back to allow us to go in for the mix up, low overhead or whatever, and that can be huge. And that's from a grab. A small note, using your back cameo move, you can reduce the next hit you take by half, and that can be really cool if you See like an uppercut coming or something. Again, there's just so many tools that Chameleon offers that I have to blatantly say, I think she's absolutely worth it. She's so much fun. In conclusion, I will say that it can be a bit frustrating to actually have to time your combos correctly, meaning you have to keep track of like what version Chameleon's at right now. She's Katana, she's gonna go to Melina. There she is. Now I'm gonna do Melina stuff if I possibly can, right? And then go, okay, so Jade's next, then I gotta plan a Katana. So you have to have combo routes and it's like strategies based off every variation the chameleon offers to plan your entire match and that can be a lot of mental stack that a lot of players don't want to deal with so i understand that that kind of intimidates you but i'll tell you right now it's actually a little bit easier than using cameos like tremor where you actually have to manually do it always keep track of it yourself this just does it for you and you just gotta keep track of like what variation she is and which one she's gonna be going to soon and that's really about it and it can be very frustrating thinking okay i'm melina right now go to do a hit she changes to jade and so then you try to do melina's you know move but it actually 
she does jades instead and you're like oh i didn't think she would change that fast and now you're kind of behind and now you're kind of mixed up i guess that can be frustrating at times it doesn't happen that often but it does take that away you get so much utility and i just have a ton of fun doing it personally is chameleon worth it i think so i think she's worth getting i think she's worth using a lot of characters can utilize that uppercut cancel they can utilize comboing off of grabs they can utilize the ground combo extension the air combo extension projectile and vulnerability you get it there's just so much anyways guys let me know down below what do you think of chameleon in mortal kombat 1 do you think she's worth it is she too much let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time